हरे कृष्णा टू स्टॉप डिफीटिंग योर सेल्फ स्टॉप डिसीविंग योर सेल्फ सपोज अ पर्सन इज सिक बट द पर्सन कंसील्स द सिम्टम्स ऑफ सिकनेस एंड प्रिटेंड्स टू बी हेल्दी देन दैट पर्सन इज एक्चुअली डिफीटिंग वन सेल्फ इज हर्टिंग वन सेल्फ बिकॉज ऑल दो दैट पर्सन मे बी एबल टू मेनटेन अ फसाड ऑफ हेल्थ एक्चुअली वन इज नॉट डिसीविंग डिसीविंग द बॉडी वन मे डिसीव द वर्ल्ड वन मे मेक विंग दम थिंग दैट आई एम हेल्दी वन मे डिसीव वन सेल्फ ऑल दिंग आई एम हेल्दी बट एक्चुअली वन के नॉट डिसीव द बॉडी द बॉडी इज बींग ईटन अप बाय दैट डिसीज एंड इवेंचुअली इट मे इट विल बिकम नॉट ओनली अनकंसीलेबल but it may also become incurable and uh, then it will uh, then what could have been cured was it was not cured because it was concealed and that's one male defeat oneself that means one male unnecessarily subject oneself to misery and eventually even death for, uh, if things turn out badly so the same applies to us in our spiritual life sometimes when we are repeatedly overcome by our weaknesses be it lust or anger or greed and we uh, pretend as if everything is all right so uh, krishna then that by that pretense by such we uh, by that such pretense where we create an appearance of purity a facade of saintliness externally while internally letting our uh, while internally or privately succumbing to our lower desires then we are deceiving ourselves and actually speaking if we don't combat those weaknesses if we let ourselves succumb to those weaknesses again and again then they are becoming stronger and stronger and we are becoming weaker and weaker and in this way we are defeating ourselves that means by trying to maintain a facade of purity while being eaten up by impurities within is by within is like uh, is like pretending to be healthy while being sick within krishna talks about this in the bhagavad gita in third chapter 6 verse he says karma indriyani sanyamya yasate manasa smaran इंद्रियार्थान विमूढ़ात्मा मिथ्याचार स उच्यते सो कर्मेन्द्रियाँ संयम्य सो वन हू रिस्ट्रेन्स वन सेंसेस यासते मन सा स्मरण एंड वन हु आसते मन सा स्मरण इंद्रियार्थान विमूढ़ात्मा a person who while externally restraining the senses is internally meditating on the sense objects indriyarthan vimudhatma such a person is vimudhatma such a person is foolish and what happens is is deluding oneself mithyacharah sa uchyate is a is a pretender so the point is that here krishna now uh, what is krishna exactly condemning or uh, reproaching he now all of us have our struggles and there is a tension between the level at which we are trying to practice while living uh, in as devotees in a community and the level at which what we might be privately the point is not that we have to wash our dirty linen in public and tell everyone uh, what is our fallen level nor is it that because we are not able to maintain standards so we just leave the devotee community and stop doing any service saying that i am very impure no the point is that we shouldn't give up the serious battle against our anarthas uh, uh, yes we whatever services we have whatever responsibilities we have we can do that and we should do that but uh, but we shouldn't think that just because we are able to play our external roles way well uh, the, the internal problems don't matter no we need to invest adequate amount of time and energy in battling our inner weaknesses by sadhana by prayer by chanting by studying scriptures by doing those things that increase our spiritual strength we will be combating and curbing the weaknesses within so otherwise we will be defeating ourselves by deceiving ourselves so deception is not that there may be a 
uh, that there may be a distance between what we what we represent and what we actually what we really are that difference is uh, is a fact of life and that difference inspire if it can inspire us to rise to the level that we are meant to represent uh, to so to minimize the difference by rigorous practice but uh, when it becomes a self deception and self defeat is when we make no effort to bridge the gap between what we represent and what we really are and we imagine that because we are representing something everything is all right and we don't need to really change so without uh, so just as a patient takes medicines and get cured similarly we too need to take seriously the practice of bhakti and that is and take the medicine of the remembrance of krishna and cure ourselves then we will find that we will become increasingly empowered to combat and curb the weaknesses uh, that were defeating us earlier thank you hare krishna